Hello, my name is Marcelin and I'm a voice teacher here at Rock U. Today I will be reacting to Olivia Rodrigo performing her song Trader live from Austin City Limits. I am so excited to react to this. Olivia Rodrigo has been um, a topic of discussion on TikTok. Um, I've seen her come up a few times. She gets a lot of hate, I think, for not sounding like her. Uh, recordings, but I think she's a very good live performer. I've watched a couple of her videos and I honestly really like her, so I'm excited to give my opinion on this. And let's get started. Brown guilt tears and little white lies, yeah, I played dumb. But you talked to her, maybe did even worse I kept quiet so I could keep you and ain't it Pausing at 30 seconds, I think this is a really beautiful start. It's very pretty and delicate. Um, and where I paused, you can see that there's a full band to the right of her. So um, you know it's just going to build from here. And it already started out so beautiful, so I'm excited to keep listening. Let's keep doing that. Isn't it funny how you and her the second that we called it quits? And ain't it funny? Pausing at 41 seconds. First of all, I notice she's not wearing shoes, which I love. I don't know. I just love when performers do that. I think I like never practice with shoes. So whenever I can perform without shoes, I always do it because it just makes me feel so grounded and like in my body and connected to my breath. And it's just like so good for my vocal technique. It helps me get lined up. So I love seeing performers do that um, when they can. And um, yeah, another thing I wanted to comment on was the way she's kind of falling off phrases. Like, ain't it funny? She just kind of like drops it. Um, I think that's really interesting. It's a kind of a pop thing um, to just kind of, be a little lackadaisical and uh, add interest and, and emphasis to certain lyrics. And I, I like that she's using it here. I think it's a really like easy um, on your voice kind of thing that you can do to add a little style and a little interest uh, to what you're singing. So let's keep going. I said you were friends, now it sure as hell don't look like it. You betrayed. Pausing at 54 seconds. I liked what she just did there. She um, she was going into like a chesty uh, head mix, which is um, like pretty typical in, in pop and rock music nowadays. That's like what people usually uh, sing in. And um, sometimes it can be hard to hit higher notes when you're in like a middle ground, um, especially when you're younger, like she is. I think she is, she's a teenager. Um, and there was a note that was like a little too high uh, for her to, to hit at this point in the song, maybe. So she kind of flipped up into her falsetto, which is a really good way to, uh, you know, kind of fudge notes, but also add interest. I thought it was really pretty and I liked it. So, yeah, let's keep going. Pausing at 122, uh, she's doing this kind of like jaw thing, traitor, uh, which is uh, a lot of singers do this, especially pop singers. I notice Ariana Grande does it all the time. It's like, it doesn't do anything for your voice. I don't think like, I think maybe when you're like super, super high, maybe it does. But like at this point in your range, it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of like tires your jaw out. So uh, when I notice my students doing that, I try to like have them like relax their jaws and like put their hands on their their face uh, 
to kind of take that action away because like it doesn't help you um it's like a control thing it's like people often do that because they think like somewhere in their minds they think that it gives them more control vocally than it does and it doesn't so it's just making you tired and that's never good when you're singing so i try to get people um who do that to, to drop it um when i can uh, it's not a it's not a particularly bad thing but it's like not a great thing so let's keep going oh, you bring her just to shut me down, show her off like she's in a trophy. Pausing at 131. I don't like the way she's holding her microphone. You see how like her hand is like kind of covering the the round part that she's singing into. That's not great. It kind of muffles your sound. It it makes it difficult for the mic to do its job. Um, you're supposed to hold it down further, like on the stem. Um like the handle of the microphone. So uh, I wish she wasn't doing that, but it's okay. I'll forgive her. Pretty much everybody does it. It's like a stylistic thing nowadays. Not really sure how it crept into the, into the culture of performance, but um, it did. So I'll forgive her, but um, none of my students do it. Don't do it that way. <laughs> Hold it on the stem. Let's keep going. I know if you were true, there's no damn way that you could fall in love with somebody that quickly. Ain't it funny? All the twisted games, all the questions you used to avoid. Ain't it funny? Remember I brought her up and you told me. Pausing it two minutes. Um, I love the way she's building it up here. You can hear like the tension in her voice, the way she's like emphasizing things um, with her diction and like the stress she's putting into her uh, vocal production. Um, you can really feel the tension building up and you can tell that she's about to like bring us home and sing her face off. So let's keep listening. You at 234 this is such a focused performance like you can see how in it she is she is like so in this performance and like in her body and in what she's doing and like you can really feel when an artist is focused like this because you can like feel their subtle emotions coming through and you can see all that on her face and you can hear all of it in her voice um and that transition was great um and she's about to really sing her face off even more now so let's keep listening I wish that you had thought this through before I went and fell in love with you and when she's sleeping in the bed we made don't you dare forget about the way you betrayed stopping at 251 um I love that bridge it's written really well it's written in like a good part of her voice where she can just kind of like get shouty and like very like gnarly and nasty without hurting herself so she can build up really well and kind of get more of the story across um which is kind of what a bridge is about it's supposed to build up the energy and like push the song forward to like push the energy forward um for a big finish so it's written really well um and it's it's written in a smart way because it's in a good range of her voice where she can like be really expressive and powerful easily um and also like throw her body around a little bit you know like she kind of like flopped over a bunch you see like where she's paused now she's like throwing her arms up in the air she's like giving a performance um which is great i love it 
I love this performance. I also love the way she looks. This outfit's cool. The band looks cool. It's just a, it's a nice performance. I really, I'm enjoying it. Let's keep watching. Me, cause I know that you'll never be Pausing at 328, I loved that. Um, I didn't want to stop it. I just wanted to let her keep going. She sounded great. She had such a good um, chest head mix. Like her voice sounded like so centered and lined up and powerful. She found like a real sweet spot in her voice where it's just like fully resonant and free and she's just singing so well. I love it. I don't know what people were talking about saying that they didn't like her live performances. She is strong. And she also just like when she took that moment to just like stand there and sing. I love seeing performers do that. It is such a power move, especially when she's been like, you know, going nuts just seconds before for her to just stop and be like, no, I'm singing now and you're listening to me. Um, that's really powerful. So yeah, let's let her finish it. God, I wish that you had thought this through before I went and fell in love with you. Mm, really nice. Stopping it at the end. Um, I love that performance. I thought she ended it beautifully too with that like just soft, sweet little ending there. Loved it. I thought um, the song is well written. It's like, it's, it's written very well for her voice. Um, it's written like just for her to sing it well. And I think that that is great. Um, and it shows in this performance, you know, she really is a strong performer. And I don't know what people were talking about on TikTok saying she wasn't good. I thought she was great. I thought she was great. I really enjoyed this. So thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day.